This is Mary Fish with Stampin' Pretty. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I wanted to show you a really simple holiday gift giving idea. I created this little tag that fits on the neck of a bottle of wine. Um, it also would work beautifully for someone who's a chef that might want a gourmet bottle of olive oil or vinegar or a pretty bottle of bubble bath might be fun for someone on your holiday list. And if you recognize this, this is the Stampin' Up! Two Tags Bigs die. It's one of the two dies in the set. I have it loaded up with some cherry cobbler cardstock in my Big Shot, and I'm running it through. When people ask me about great basics for the Big Shot, the Two Tags die is one that I would recommend is on your list. Very versatile with two tags. Let me show you. They look like. You get both this one that folds up and then this one is the one that I'm using today. Works great as a bookmark. Frankly there's a whole host of cool ideas to use with it. And then to create this wine topper um, I'm going to add a 1 and 3 eighths inch circle and I'm literally just using this as my guide for when I punch it out. One other really cute thing I should point out about this die and I hope you can see it on the video. It has the cutest little edging all the way around and then this scalloped top. I love that about it. And then I'm using a 1 and 3 8 inch circle punch. Lining it up to make sure I don't have any red anywhere. I see green. I know I'm in pretty good shape. And I am. So one last step. I'm going to use my new best friend. Um, that's the Stampin' Up! Simply Scored, and I'm just lining it up square with this edge. And I am going to just score so that it will bend. How simple is that? You can see what I've done basically here. So that's exactly, that's all there is to it other than doing some cute decorating. This is the Stocking Accent Originals die that Stampin' Up! is offering. It is so cute. I'm going to be sharing that and using it a lot in preparation for the holidays. And last but not least, this is another really cute idea. If you don't have the two tags die, um, I literally just used a one and three quarter inch wide piece of garden green, cut the hole out, um, the one and three eighths inch circle, the same way as I did on the on this one. And then I used a square punch to create the flagged end and scored. And again, another really cute idea for the holidays to dress up something quickly but still give it that special handmade touch. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to having you join me again for one of my Stampin' Pretty tutorials. Bye bye.